putting together a retrospective exhibition on one artist is never an easy task. And in this case, the task was even more difficult. Uh, we have a distinguished artist whose work spans more than 50 years. We also have an artist, in this case, who worked in different places and who was collected more widely in different parts of the world at different times. And finally, much of Mariano's work, and especially his very best work, was collected by private persons and has not ever been displayed in public before. So the question is really, what do you do under these circumstances? And in this case, the McMullen was blessed to have a curator, Elizabeth Thompson Goitsueda, who had wonderful connections throughout the Latin American art world. Well, the origin of the project really uh, began in 2013 when I was in Havana on a research visa at the National Museum of Fine Arts. And uh, there I was doing research on Wifero Lam, uh, who we showed here at, in a retrospective exhibit in 2014. So when I was at the National Museum of Fine Arts with the curator there of the avant-garde wing, Roberto Cobas Amate, he took me around in the uh, permanent collection. And uh, in that permanent collection, were the works of Mariano Rodriguez. Uh, and, and I had a chance to look at the breadth and the scope of his work. Now, I would say he's very strong in terms of color. Uh, he's very strong in terms of line. His draftsmanship is excellent. And he's very strong in terms of form. So whether he's working figuratively or abstractly, you can definitely uh, see that he is a master in all of these three areas. And what the McMullen Museum has done is it's really drilled down into a lesser known period, the period from 1965, in which Mariano played with this idea of claro oscuro, or the um, dark and the light, this contrast. And then uh, that, of course, is not new. That is uh, original to European Baroque of the 17th century. But what the Latin Americans did is that they reimagined and reinterpreted this European Baroque and, and introduced uh, the idea of the Latin American experience into the Baroque. So Mariano takes this Latin American Baroque and plays with it. And in the 60s, what he does is he adds a startling new element, which is the grotesque. And so the grotesque is defined as anything mysterious or alien fantastic or even comical and so he's able to work within this paradox and really produce startling imagery that has never really been uh, studied in terms of scholarship and really has never been exhibited uh, in a comprehensive fashion. So in the end what the McMullen has been able to put together is the most extensive exhibition that's ever been done of Mariano Rodriguez's work. And one of the things that we're most proud of at the McMullen, and why we believe this exhibition is so important, is that we've done this exhibition with didactics and a catalog in Spanish and in English, so that we're able to bring together the two primary audiences for Mariano's work, 